the twins. You guys moved here from Montreal to basically achieve the American dream. Mm -hmm. And here you are, you've been in New York a couple years, you've had two successful fashion weeks. Tell me, what are some of the obstacles that you faced to sort of get where you are today? Um, well, I would have to say it was really funny because when we first moved to New York or Montreal, it was a total cultural shock. Um, Montreal is such a small city, and moving here, you know, New York, the Big Apple, things are so much more expensive. And then when we started, um, you know, a company, then, you know, obviously we, we had the challenges that every small company has, which is, you know, we had to build a network with, you know, nobody. Um, but we really trusted ourselves. Um, we did a lot of fashion shows, but a, a little bit more. Before Fashion Week, you know, we had all types of fashion shows. And we did them some of the lounges and, and clubs and like um, lofts. And so we yeah, self promoted ourselves. ourselves a lot, and basically we were not afraid. And I was really excited because when I first went to your show in spring 2011, I remember Ice-T was sitting in front of me and I was like, oh my goodness, here's Ice-T with his whole entourage and yeah. then out comes Coco on the runway and yes. she made quite the impression. Absolutely. <laughs> so how did your relationship with Ice-T and Coco come about and where is it now? Are you guys collaborating on any projects today? Well, um, we first worked on that runway show in spring 2011 and Coco, she's such a you know, a feisty, fierce, independent woman, definitely a fashion woman. So it was an honor for us to be able to work with her and to custom design a dress that would actually, um, you know, put to the forefront her assets. Because she has an, um, she has an amazing body. And everybody dreams about her curves. Like, you know, she, she looks like a superhero. Exactly. <laughs> it's almost too good to be true. And then we said, all right, it's Coco. We have to design something that will represent her personality the style and the way she is, she's overly confident. Um, I mean, she's she's definitely that woman on the catwalk that you know was stealing our show. Like, yeah, in she a good way. Because after that big splash, it was great for her. Mm -hmm. It was great for us. You know, the, our runway show was featured internationally, and it was a great surprise. So we bonded, you know, and we had a great connection. We turned out to realize that we have so much in common, you know. Well, congratulations to IST and Coco. They own their, you know, they landed their own TV show on E Detainment, which is going to air um, June 12th, actually right after the Kardashians on Sunday. Oh, so I um, should watch it. And uh, yeah, I know, and we're excited because it will be featured on the show. Um, so you guys will have to tune in to see what happens. And don't forget to go on our website, which is sachika.com. S-A-C-H-I-K-A.com or you can follow us on Twitter which is Sasha Twins S-A-C-H-I-K-A Twins T-W-I-N-S and to read our blog The Real Twins of NYC.com Bonjour, je m'appelle Totam et Tonya Nous sommes les Sasha Twins et vous regardez Social Descent